This has got to be one of the most unique ways of planting wine. These unusual vineyards are located on the volcanic island of Lanzarote. The vines are planted in conical hollows, dug up to 3 meters deep into the thick layer of black volcanic material. The most famous vineyards on Lanzarote are located around Lagueria in the south of the island. This is where I am today. There are a lot of beautiful trails in the region that you can freely hike and explore. I planned a 16km trail through the vineyards and of course also a stop at one of the bodegas in the area where you can purchase some of the wine. I encourage you to check out the area on Google Earth because the patterns of the vineyards on the slopes of the volcanoes look really really cool from above. This is volcanic material, it's, it's volcanic ash and lapilli. This covers the entire island, so, so at least much of it. So this is stuff that the volcano tossed out during the eruption. Lapilli is the small rocks and the very, very small rocks up to two millimeters are volcanic ash. There is fertile soil buried underneath this layer of volcanic material. This is why they dig these hollows here. This allows for the roots of the plants to reach the soil and as an added benefit this also protects the wine from the strong northeast winds on the island. Usually it's uh, really dry here and if it rains like it does actually now, it's a very light rain, the volcanic material can store water really well. So if it's night and it's, it's very humid or if it's like light rain like now the volcanic material can store the water and release it to the wine it actually smells like sulfur here and if you smell the ground it does also smell like sulfur this is not sewage or anything it's just sulfur dioxide which is stored in the soil and it has been for 300 years <laughs> To help protect against wind and weather, they used volcanic rocks to construct little semi-circular stone walls around the northeast sides of the holes. This makes the vineyards look even more like a giant land art sculpture. Lagaria is uh, close to Yaisa, where my hotel is located, so this was very easy to get to here. I took the bus, so it's just a couple of minutes drive. I could have walked here too, but uh, why waste time? <laughs> so the sky gets more clear up there. And I expect this is going to be another very hot day. Well, it's not actually all that hot, really. It's been around 20 to 23 degrees over the past couple of days. By the way, according to the weather forecast, we have 0% chance of rain. So, clear and sunny. <laughs> this is April, and this time of year Lanzarote has around two rainy days per month. In order to grow wine at all, you need at least around 300 millimeters of rain per year. Lanzarote's arid desert climate, however, only produces around 150 millimeters per year. For Lanzarote, this means without the moisture retaining capabilities of the volcanic material, which not only gradually releases water to the plants, but also prevents it from immediately evaporating in the sunshine, growing wine would be much more challenging, if not impossible here. We have vineyards as far as the eye can see. And it's really cool also to see the, the pattern of vineyards on the slopes of the volcanoes, which is really nice. This, by the way, here is a nature reserve, uh, although it's being used agriculturally, which is uh, interesting. So yeah, the sun is back and I'm probably going to get another sunburn today. The sun is very bright. They're taking the easy way up. <laughs> yeah, the trail now leads up onto a hill. Lanzarote has helped me realize how much I'm out of shape. <laughs> That right there is 
Puerto del Carmen and that back there is Arrecife. But hey, the, the horses, they are not faster than me. So maybe I'm not as slow as I think. <laughs> As you can see the patterns of the vineyards really well from up here. This is a really nice trail. Also good to walk on. See, this is why I take so long to hike. Relatively short hikes. <laughs> because now I just sit here and enjoy the view. But I think it's something that you have to do. buy wine but I will do this on my way back because I have another little loop coming up here and I don't want to carry the wine for longer than I have to. <laughs> Wine. There are around 30 wineries on Lanzarote. Most of them are located in the center of the island and the Lagaria region. I picked Bodega Lagaria because it was on the route of my hike. By the way, if this is something you're interested in, some of these wineries also offer guided tours through the vineyards. This is cool, this is a dragon tree. Really nice. What do I choose? I'm gonna have to fit this in my backpack for now because I have this hike back. So I'm sitting in front of this uh, church here. Actually just because it's nice, but uh, <laughs> I'm just sitting here to be able to talk to you guys without that strong wind in my face. And also there's shadow here. This is a rare tree. Most of the buildings here are white, if not even all of the buildings are white, which is pretty nice because you have those black surfaces from the volcanic material and in contrast this bright white which is really nice all right it all fit in there except for my camera but i'm carrying it anyway let's head back to ugo There are a lot of abandoned buildings here on Lanzarote. This is like a different world in the sunshine, isn't it? <laughs> guys I am back in Uga which means this trail is at an end hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you enjoyed this hike thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one